Hi friends, log on to my website fastbeam.com and talk to me on the forums. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. at CarMax basically it's a used car dealership and uh, you can't haggle over here but the prices are set and uh, the cars are in extremely good condition they have been checked thoroughly now I'm going to quickly show you around some of the massively awesome cars which I found over here and two of them I also drove so here we go let's start here as you can see let me zoom in a bit a uh, lot of luxury cars over there so there are Mercedes Benz cars there's Audis there are BMWs there's Lexus and there is Genesis okay then this Cadillac actually this whole row is about luxury but we are not interested in any German car today because we are focusing ourselves on American cars but uh, there is a Cadillac over here and there is a Porsche so these are all used cars that's a 2014 Porsche Boxster priced at $40,000 which equates to around 7 Forza I'm so bad with mathematics around uh, 26 lakhs or so so this is a came in now both of them are priced similarly and uh, we have got a Mazda which is for twenty thousand dollars equates to around 15 lakhs now let me quickly see which year Mazda is it it's a 2016 MX-5 Miata Sport and a we can just open it because all cars here are unlocked you can open any of them and sit inside and have as much fun as you like but it's too hot to do so so this is the Mazda Miata MX-5 and this is the Cayman so here you can see well Caymans are available in India also so that's not really a big deal so moving on over here we have got a Subaru it is the BRZ Limited and let me quickly open this car as well but let me quickly show you the rear of this car you can see Volvos are going over there there seems to be the Polestar color on the middle S60 uh, this is the BRZ rear spoiler looks nice so let me quickly open it here we go looks nice and sporty this Subaru and uh, moving on we have the Charger over here all right the Charger doesn't feel as exciting as the Challenger now that Challenger is priced at $20,000 it's a 2016 Challenger SXT it gets a V6 motor it's a 3.6 liter unit and uh, yeah it's not as exciting as the Hellcat let me quickly open the Charger for you so this is the Charger it gets four doors this is the Challenger and I have already driven a Challenger 
it is not ex as exciting as the Mustang around the corners at least. So let's quickly zoom in there. There we go. Let me show you the rear of the car. And there we have a couple of Mustangs as well. So there is a, a black one, there's a red one. Now this is priced at $20,000, the 2015 Mustang EcoBoost. And this one is priced at $30,000, this is a 2017, this is the 5 litre. There it goes, 5 litre. And this one uses a smaller engine, uh, basically. It is a 2.3 litre EcoBoost, which also powers, yes, you heard that right, let me tell you the horsepower figure. So it's 310 horsepower, by the way, it also powers the Focus RS. Now, obviously, there's nothing to see inside these cars because they're available in India. There's the Camaro. There are two of them sitting here, priced at $22,000, which equates to 15 lakhs. 15 lakhs for this, 15 lakhs for that. What am I doing in India? What's wrong with me? 15 lakhs for that as well. Seriously. And here we have the Subaru BRZ Limited. I mean, yeah, whatever. I'm not much into Subarus. Again, 20,000. This one is the Focus RS. I have already driven it. And uh, so you'll see that video. This is the Volkswagen GTI, the Golf GTI. This is a 2013 model. And uh, obviously, I need to open it and show it to you right away. So this is priced at $16,000, which equates to around 11 lakh rupees. From inside, this car looks absolutely stunning. Stunning. Now there is the Imp uh, WRX. I'm always tending to say Impreza WRX, but it is the WRX. They've dropped the Impreza name from it, although it is based on it. And there's another one. This is the 2017. This is the 2018 model. And there are Chryslers here as well. I don't like Chryslers at all. I'm so sorry about that. We get Passats over here. There is another Passat. There's the Nissan Altima, uh, which is a rival to the Honda Accord, but priced slightly cheaper than that. And uh, here we have Buick, Chrysler, Chevrolet, Malibu, and a lot more of these cars. So as I keep going, I can see a lot of Chevys, no interest in them at all. There's another Toyota, there's a Honda, Accords, Camrys, uh, very popular selling cars here in the US. They're priced very attractively. And there we have a Fusion. I believe it's a Fusion or a Taurus. No, actually it's a Fusion or the Mondeo, you can call it either. Is the Impala, the Chevrolet Impala. Yeah, this is the Fusion S. This one is priced at $13,000, which is under 10 lakhs for a D-segment car. This is the 2015. So prices of cars here in the United States are very attractive. That's the latest generation of the Accord, I believe. Not the latest generation. Oh, I don't know. I don't care. Oh, uh, we get more of these Fords over here. That is the Focus. And here we have another one of the fusions i believe so it's going to be written on the other side actually yeah it's a fusion se pricing remains the same at thirteen thousand dollars nice looking car from the rear very aston martinish design so moving on to the other side of this car max dealership oh just too many accords just too many accords let's see what is the price on one of these so this one is already sold it says and it's priced at $20,000 for 2017 car and this is the interior that's like really very attractive even this one this one red one looks very nice there's a sonata over there another sonata over there there's a veloster over here it's a veloster turbo and look at those exhausts on this hyundai crazy isn't it let's open it and see what's inside so you can see yeah nice sporty looking cabin for a hyundai car accord another accord and here we have a range rover so this is priced at just under forty thousand dollars which is around 23 lakhs so 2013 land rover range rover sport hsc luxury yeah not much interest in range rovers today because we get them in india don't we so moving on there we see a fiesta standing there that'll be really cheap i believe there's an impala over here let's quickly cover this side of the dealership first then we'll come to the other side so over here we have a mazda now again no one has interest in mazda so a lot of mazdas over here and there's a kia here as well that fiesta is priced at eleven thousand dollars it's a 2015 ford fiesta se meanwhile this is a kia i don't know the name of the model not much interest in Kias. There's another Kia. This one looks like the Get somehow. And uh, yeah, this is priced at under 10,000, actually under $9,000. It's a Rondo EX, the 2008 model. 
moving on we have a lot of civics over here in Karolas so there's a civic touring there's a civic there's a cruise over there you can see a Chevrolet cruise multiple cruises over there there's Mazda there's a Buick over here and over here we have a Chrysler I believe uh, the BMW i3 is always on charge when I came yesterday also it was on charge right now also it's on charge so it's a <laughs> it's always low on battery I believe it's only for $18,998 which makes it around 15 lakh rupees and it's gonna cost a crore or something dashboard is humongous on this car just look at it and I believe the charge is done completely on this car so here we go and uh, this is the Passat over here Meanwhile, over here we have Corollas, 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 Corollas. Lot of the Corollas. Behind that we have the Civic. We have the F-150. No, this is not the M4, F-150. This is the F. Yeah, it is actually the F-150 XLT. It looked like a Super Duty to me. So this is priced at thirty twenty-six thousand dollars. Large cabin, huge cabin. So at this price of twenty-six nine ninety-eight, that's almost. Uh, how much is it? If I still calculate quickly, 7 into 3. Oh, it's around 21 lakh rupees. 20 lakh rupees or so. Another Corolla. Here we have our old Civic, which is sold. There's the Jeep Grand Cherokee old model. There's an Infinity over here. And uh, like I told you, again on the right, we have a lot of Civics. All right, moving on from there, you can see a lot of the elantras and the minis over there we get a bmw here and basically this is filled with suvs the second half is actually filled with suvs a lot of jeeps over there and over here we get ford's transit trucks so lined all over the place this is the glk it looks ridiculous according to me there is the gle or the ml class and let's quickly look at the price on one of these so there's no pricing on it no there's the pricing information on the other side yeah it is for $35,000 so these are the trucks commercial vehicles from Ford Mazda is the Honda Odyssey van very popular van there's the Honda Pilot SUV a lot of Jeeps here those are the Cherokees and uh, there's the Dodge I think it's a caravan or something they have again nobody really buys those as much as they buy Hondas and Toyotas over here this is the Nissan and uh, I believe this is a very popular selling car. In fact, the most popular selling car at CarMax is the Rogue, which happens to be the X-Trail. So over here, we have a lot of these Jeeps and uh, yeah, BMWs, Chevrolet trucks. That's a Silverado. So this is priced at 30,000. It's a 2015 Silverado 1500 LT. It's powered by 5.3 liter eight cylinder engine with 355 horsepower. And uh, basically this shares a lot with the Cadillac Escalade that's why you see the gear levers placed like that so moving on from this car you can see nice wheels as well a lot of BMWs here and there's a GMC truck which happens to be a Sierra I believe and uh, there's the Dodge Ram 1500 this is the Sierra there's another GMC truck so this is completely filled with trucks as you keep moving this is the Toyota Tundra and uh, I just look at the hood of this car so this one is priced at $35,000 5.7 liter V8 motor produces 381 horsepower interior might remind you a bit about the Fortuner I might be wrong though and from here we move on Lexus SUV standing there there's the Ford SUV Explorer and behind we have the Nissan pickup truck as well uh, this isn't the latest one the latest one is huge the titan uh, another ford it seems to be the ranger xlt there's the f-150 over here and look at this chevy okay it says high country and it is just massive look at how the mirrors are jutting out of this car it's absolutely insane it's a silverado 2500 high country for fifty-seven thousand dollars, which seems expensive and the interior looks decent enough i would say you can see a lot of the suvs right ahead so there's the explorer there is another explorer there's a range rover and yet another explorer there's some buick one i have absolutely no idea which buick it is and there are more of hondas placed over there there's a lot of these ford f-150 chevrolet silverados there's the dodge ram look at that doesn't it look absolutely massive lot of these dodges there's a gmc over there again Ford's commercial vehicles 
actually the f-150 comes across as a commercial vehicle this is for twenty seven thousand dollars again it's a 5.7 liter eight cylinder motor and uh, they haven't put the power and top figures over here usually they do it for every car interior looks really drab and ridiculously bad so large loading bay over here from behind you can see a line of these pickup trucks 4x4 written over here and let's move on outside of this so let me open a latest dodge 2016 ram 1500 big horn 400 horsepower almost priced at twenty eight thousand dollars which equates to around 22 lakh rupees interior seems decent enough large touchscreen unlike the case which was there with the previous model uh acuras over here and uh, you can see there's gmc's that's the yukon which i've already shown you earlier in my uh, review of a gm dealership so as we keep exploring over here a lot more cars i think that's uh, some dodge car i don't really recollect ironically you don't find uh, the cadillac escalade over here or any smart car either neither do you find a hummer unfortunately i wanted to drive it but couldn't find one to drive so more dodges there is the infinity qx80 it's the most ugliest car i've seen in the united states of america it looks really really like a frog and this one is priced at forty three thousand dollars and i can't see what engine it has it has a 5.6 liter eight cylinder motor power and torque figures are not mentioned over here interior feels nice i don't know who buys this car it looks absolutely ridiculous yeah and uh citadel dodge durango citadel it's a all-wheel drive let me quickly open that again for you and here we go interior is nice actually and here we have the denali version of the gmc this is a old model it's a real old model denali version of uh, the latest yukon so this is not the xl this one is priced at forty seven thousand dollars and it's powered by a 6.2 liter eight cylinder motor deer looks nice we have the wrangler no interest in the wrangler another wrangler there's the jeep renegade it gets steel wheels ironically there's the wrangler sahara and there's another jeep over there honda crvs all over the place and as i keep moving ahead i'm going to go back and reach that mustang you can see that there as you can see this car max here in massachusetts has plenty of options a lot of cars unfortunately i can't see a single mitsubishi lancer sadly that is and uh, there's another mitsubishi here actually i saw this and then i remembered about the lancer this one well it's the outlander sport es price is sixteen thousand dollars cars are very affordable in the us somehow and uh, we have i think the rav4 it's like insane to come here to buy a car because you have so many cars you i don't know which one would you pick it just keeps going on and on i mean i think i need to do a uber inside this particular parking lot of car max just to understand which is the car i should be picking uh, these are the old tucson's and this video will never get over if i continue talking about all these cars so guys if you like this video you know what you have to do give it a thumbs up that's a like button and just hope that one day indian market will be mature enough that we can get a setup like this wherein cars are priced attractively the taxes are reduced and we can actually buy affordable cars without burning the bank i know only those people can buy performance cars who have a lot of money but over here in the united states it's not a big deal to have a performance car for less money even used cars are so well kept because the road conditions are really great so if you purchase any vehicle over here you can return it in seven days no question asked that's the kind of you know pro consumer this country is so i'll see you in the next video bye bye